Alright guys, how's it going? So, we got our third teaser trailer for Sumeru. The first one went over the new element, the new Dendro element. The uh, second one covered more of the um, uh, more notable locations in Sumeru. And what we might expect what the story might be based around those certain locations. This one, it seems to be more character focused. Uh, just based on uh, what I've been seeing about this trailer. I haven't watched it yet. All I've seen is a couple screenshots. Um, and based on screenshots, it looks like I'm going to be seeing a lot of characters. So, um, before we jump into it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Um, Hit that notification bell so you'll be uh, notified whenever I do anything on the channel. So do those things for me. Helps with the growth of the channel. Now let's jump into this uh, trailer. Let's see what we got. All right, here's Sumeru. I guess this is a, more of a port on Sumeru. All right, now we're seeing more of the city on the big tree. Looks pretty cool. We saw this in the previous trailer. Music's pretty nice too. Shumi is a city of wisdom. Okay. Okay. The city's many activities are being conducted by the academia. As the Dao Qi Pian states, the knowledge in the Okay, so that was the previous Archon. Most people, especially children, Okay. Okay, so apparently we're also getting some backstory to the people of Sumeru is that the previous Archon came up with how came up with the idea that knowledge is a resource and passed it on to the next Archon who is Kusanali. Um, Kusanali is their name. Um, and now we're finding out that the adults, mostly the adults in Sumeru, don't dream. And that's why apparently there's a phrase called the people of Sumeru don't dream. Okay, so... There's some backstory. Our Dangdi Ren, Yehui Ren Wei, just a young Li Xing, you Zhi Hui the Xiang Zheng, or Fei Chang Zi. Shumi Sending, Chao Hot Chu, the Shibu, or Tura, Fei Chang Shu, or Shun Lei, the Fan Yen. Will I then Jia Fan Yen, or Bob Hu Jun Chin, the Nelly? Okay, mushroom, those guys, in China, you go to Hansino Wu. More mushrooms. Take out the Shun Show. Okay, that's a new enemy. Chang the Dong Xing. Yeah, that is definitely new. The highest form of fungi had developed a strong animalistic nature. So, most of the enemies in Sumeru are mushroom type creatures. And, a, and then, as this guy is saying, they develop strong animalistic nature. So, that's why this one looks kind of like a bird like enemy. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. <laughs> Okay, we even got a, like a tiger thing going on here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're getting a lot of new enemies. I get that this is just gonna be a regular boar. I know it. It's gonna be. It's a boar covered in mushrooms. <laughs> okay. So we got Serenetes, I think that's what that's what, that's what they refer to them as. Let's go back here a second. Eremites, Eremites, okay. Called the Eremites. They are settlers from an ancient civilization in the desert. Okay, so they're basically just more assholes that you randomly that just you fight. They're assholes that attack you. <laughs> Alright, 
So there are also machines from an advanced civilization that guard the ancient secrets buried in the sand. So basically more uh, ruin type machine enemies. Only they look a little bit neater and fancier. Okay. Alright, Okay, so this is a new dude. Al Hytham. Al Hytham? Whatever. Is the. God. It's from the Haravata in the Academia. So this. I'm assuming this dude is important. And based on what, I, what I've heard, I think he's Dendro. I mean, he's got this green little crystal here. We don't see his vision, but I'm. I'm feeling like the student's Dendro. Okay, such as Deya. She's also a member of the asshole gang called the Aramites. Uh, this chick looks pretty good. Uh, definitely um, got the pyro vision. But yeah, she looks pretty badass. She looks pretty badass. Digging her. Alright, we got this chick. Who's a dancer. I am going to take the assumption that she has a hydro vision. I'm assuming. Um uh, she looks nice. Alright, so a mysterious girl, mysterious girl named Nahida, but I've heard rumors on who she, who she actually is. Notice, uh, I mean, you can kind of see she has green going toward the tips of her hair. Venti, if you look at all the archons, by the end of their hair, when you get to the end of their hair, their hair starts to change color. Venti's turns to a light green. Raiden Shogun's turns to a light purple when you get to the tip of her long hair. And Zhang Li, the tip of his hair is orange. This is the Archon. You can see her hair turning green by the when you get to the tips of it. This is Kusanali. Um, and there's Sino, one of the uh, characters we saw built to us near the beginning of the game. Very cool. Very cool. But yeah, here's Sino. Um Yeah, so he's an electro character with a spear. Um he was one of the characters that was revealed near the beginning of the game, and I'm sure I'm pretty sure a lot of people were looking forward to him. They had to wait a long time to get Sino. I know a lot of people were saving their primo gens for this dude. Hopefully he, uh, hopefully he delivers with his gameplay. I'm really hoping that. Let me see if I can go back to you. Yeah, you can see. Uh, her hair turning green when you get to the tips. So she's the Archon. There's no doubt about it. She is the Archon. Um, that is Kusanali. I guess she goes by Nahida when she's out and about so people don't recognize her. I'm just making that assumption. Why else would she be going by a separate name rather than her real name, Kusanali? Um... But yeah, this this chick looks pretty cool. Apparently, she's a member of the uh, Aramites, the gang of uh, asshole mercenaries. But I'm assuming she's going to be different, and she looks like she's going to be a badass. I mean, this fucking arm right here looks cool as fuck. 
Uh, I'm assuming that's a gauntlet. Yeah, it looks like it's, just, it's a cool fucking gauntlet. Uh, let's see uh, who else we got here. Yeah, here's this dude again. Very curious to see who this, uh, what this dude's going to be like. He looks pretty cool. Let's see. And yeah, here was Tignari. Tignari looks like a pretty cool dude. I think he's going to be a main DPS. I'm, I'm feeling like he's going to be a main DPS. Um, but yeah, we got to see a bunch of cool characters, revealed some enemies. I'm kind of... I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting this thing. I'm pretty sure these are also going to be enemies that we might fight. Um, I'm wondering if this tiger thing is going to be an enemy we fight too. That thing looks pretty w wicked. Um, but yeah, got to see a lot of characters. I think the characters they showed were going to be five stars. I could be wrong on that, but it, it looked like... Because we know he's a five star. We know Kusanali is going to be a five star. We know Tignari is going to be a five star. So that makes me assume that this dude's going to be a five star. This chick's going to be a five star and this chick's going to be a five star. Um I so I'm feeling like they just revealed five stars. Because they didn't show any of the four stars. They didn't show Kali, they didn't show um the Electro girl who we know are four stars. I think they were just showing five stars in this uh, trailer. So, really cool. I'm really interested to seeing how these characters... I mean, for me, character is a big part of the selling point for these characters. Like, their personality, their backstory, appearance. Um, but... Gameplay matters, too. It, the, the gameplay has to be, has to be good. And I'm really hoping, don't get me wrong, there a lot of characters from Inazuma were really good. But a lot of the characters, in, like, I'd say a vast majority, a vast majority of the Inazuma characters were kind of a letdown. When it comes to gameplay. I'm strictly speaking gameplay. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping Sumeru kind of turns that around. And I'm hoping that with the Dendro element being added to the game, it helps some of the Inazuma characters that fell by the wayside. So, we'll see. Um, I'm really hoping that Sumeru is a turnaround for character development. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you'll be in, uh, notified whenever I do do anything on the channel like upload new content like this, and I will catch you guys later.